Hello, my name is Dwight Blair, Global Product Manager for DG Shape Corporation, and today we're going to discuss how to keep your milling center up and running with DW Index 2. Before we begin our session, some of you may be new to the DG Shape line of products. There also may be a bit of confusion between DG Shape and Roland Branding. I would like to clarify this for you. Back in 2017, DigiShape became an official subsidiary under the Roland Corporation with an emphasis in expanding Roland's 3D line of products. Today, the Roland Corporation continues to manufacture and distribute high quality printing devices, whereas the DigiShape Corporation manufactures and distributes high quality 3D milling devices and impact and laser printers. In 2018, the logo on all 3D devices changed from Roland to DigiShape. At dental shows across the globe, you can find us under our new brand and logo. Now that you have a brief understanding about DigiShape, let us dig into the key points we'll discuss during this webinar. The first topic we will discuss today is the purpose of DW Index. Some of our users may not know about this software and I will explain what it was initially created to do. Next, for those who are familiar with the first version of DW Index, we will briefly discuss the changes between the first and second version, new features added to the second version, and we will review the unique ways DW Index 2 improves support and production for your dental business. Next, we will dive into DW Index 2 Live. I will show you how to set up and navigate the software, and we will discuss how to interpret the data in each section. Finally, we will discuss CAM software compatibility, how to get started, and have a quick review of everything discussed in this webinar. Over the past decade, we have seen great improvements with technology, materials, and software in the dental industry. Milling machines today are incorporating portions of IoT technology, making it easier to access and use CAD CAM devices. As CAD CAM software improves, it places a higher demand on open milling systems, which can lead to communication challenges between the software and the milling device. DW Index 2 aims to take advantage of IoT technology, allowing DWX users the opportunity to learn and use this software as a benefit to their daily business activities. Going back to the launch of the DWX 52 DCI, the first version of DW Index was an optional software focused on providing analytics for device usage and ROI data. It was DigiShape's first attempt at turning sensor data into visual data to understand and monitor the performance of the latest DWX dental milling devices. As a user, you could access a daily list of completed jobs, track and review the use of materials in burrs, and track the progress of customized device usage goals. For users with compatible CAM software, DW Index compared the cost of crown and bridge unit output with the cost of the milling device as a way to track profitability and understand investment return. The latest release of DW Index software is a more focused offering. It seeks to improve support while providing data that helps you maintain each device and optimize production. In the first version of DW Index, you could review ROI data, set and review device usage goals, track device, material, and tool use, and review all completed jobs. In the latest version of DW Index, you will be able to improve support with live video recordings, access milling devices remotely, keep up with maintenance operations, review and compare daily mill usage, analyze simplified error reports, and lastly, in the latest version, the ROI feature is disabled. With a brief understanding of these new features, we can now dive into the key unique support and production benefits DW Index 2 offers for your dental business. When your milling device needs support, what if the problem was clearly understood 
the first time you reached out for help without the need of an on-site support technician to evaluate the issue. The new error reporting feature in DW Index 2 aims to do just that. In the occasion there is an error on your milling device, a video clip is recorded and exported from an external camera. Then, an automated email is sent to the user with a link to the recorded video. The video clip will display billing activity or device operation 40 seconds before the error to help determine its cause. With DW Index 2, if your device needs support due to an error, recorded video will help users and support representatives clearly understand the cause and speed up solutions to get your device back up and running quickly. Backlog is a word used in dental businesses for understanding dental cases that have not been completed on time. When it comes down to digital milling processes, recurring user mistakes can cause multiple days of production. With DW Index 2, you can stay on top of recurring device operation issues that affect your productivity. A new feature, the Error History Dashboard, allows you to track errors on all devices, organizes errors by date and time, and it ranks errors by frequency, including the ones that can be avoided through proper machine use. No business should experience downtime due to an issue as simple as a missing burr or an open door. Now you can track all the occurrences and reduce mill downtime by promoting proper device use. Have you ever stopped yourself before sending a CAM file to the mill and asked, when was the last time maintenance was performed? Though vPanel is a great tool for managing maintenance operations, it would help to know what operations have been completed to determine when they should be performed again or if they have been performed at all. The maintenance dashboard in DW Index 2 provides more visibility into performed maintenance operations for DWX milling devices. This dashboard keeps a historical record of the date and time for every completed maintenance step. It also allows you to view and compare completed maintenance operations for all connected devices. Now, instead of wondering if your device is ready for use, you can check maintenance digitally, then determine whether an operation should be performed or not. Would you consider your mill a workhorse? To keep your milling center up and running, you need to understand if your milling device is a workhorse or if it's sleeping on the job. A good sign that you are reaching your production goals is when your device is running throughout the entire workday. But what if you find some mills in your milling center sleep during working hours? How would you know if you are maximizing the potential of your device? The Runtime Dashboard in DW Index 2 charts the order in which jobs are completed and shows the duration of each job in a 24-hour bar graph. The more the mill works, the more the bar will be covered in blue. The less the mill works, the more the bar will be covered in gray. If an error occurs with your milling device, the amount of downtime due to the error will be reflected in red on the bar graph. Users seeking to turn their mills into workhorses should check the runtime dashboard frequently and keep jobs in the queue. The runtime dashboard is a great way to keep up with the milling activity in your milling center and execute a plan to keep your devices up and running each working day of the year. One of the components of an efficient CAD CAM business is keeping up with milled units from the previous day that need to be centered. Some technicians use a printed list or an Excel spreadsheet to keep track of completed jobs from their milling devices. Though these are easy and great ways to keep track of job data, they require a great deal of concentration and man hours to keep accurate, updated records of daily milled activity. DW Index 2 digitally tracks the completion of each job for all your milling devices. Each entry will contain the mill time, material name and use, and burr use for every job. All jobs are listed by their day of completion, making it easy for you to confirm 
which units are ready for centering, or if units have been lost. Now, let's walk through DW Index 2 to get a feel for the user interface. In the remote section, you'll have four different panels. One panel will show the current amount of devices you have connected to DW Index 2 and their current status. When you select a device, if there are jobs that are milling or completed, you'll see them in the job status section. Over here in the milling image section, whichever device I have selected, if there is an attached camera, I'll be able to see a live view of what's going on in my device. This is not a video feed, but it is a live photo of what's happening. At the bottom right corner of the screen, you'll see what we call the system report. This is more for support cases and for support representatives to view and understand what's going on with your device. The error history dashboard keeps a list of all errors that have occurred on each of your milling devices. To access the dashboard, hover over the dashboard menu, then click on error history. To the left of the screen, you'll see a list of all your connected devices. The main part of the screen at the top, you'll see the most frequent errors for all of your selected devices in this list. The bottom of the list represents a running tally of each error, the time and date that they occurred, and the type of error that happened. You can scroll all the way down the list. You can also click on other machines to see if there's any other errors that have occurred and view them on the same screen. The maintenance dashboard keeps a list of all completed maintenance operations for each connected milling device. To access this dashboard, hover over the dashboard menu and click on maintenance. In the maintenance screen, on the left side, you'll see all your connected milling devices. In the main portion of the screen, you'll see a list of each completed maintenance operation according to date and time. Based on which machine you are viewing, you will see your menu change based on the operations that can be performed for that mill. The running time feature in DW Index is a list of all your daily jobs in a 24 hour bar chart. To access the running time screen, go to the dashboard menu and click on running time. When you're in this screen, to the left of your screen, you will see a list of all of your connected devices. To the right of the screen, you will see a list of each daily log of jobs that were sent to the device. If you hover over any of the selected blue bars or red bars, you'll see either the job information or error information as you navigate through your monthly view. To access job lists in DW Index 2, you need to know which machine you would like to check and which day you would like to review. If you only have one machine connected to DW Index 2, this will be fairly simple for you. Select the machine you would like to check by double clicking. Navigate to the day you would like to review. Double click. And here, you'll see a list of jobs that have been completed for that day. If there's any errors that have occurred, you will see them listed in the error section. At the top of the section is a runtime log of all of the jobs that have been completed for that day. By hovering over any of the blue or red bars, I will highlight those in the list below to see which job has been completed that's ready for centering. There is more to DW Index 2 than just the features covered in this webinar. You can track crown and bridge unit output for all your devices. You can also track material usage automatically without using vPanel to create customized names for each disk or adapter. Yet to access these features, you will need compatible CAM software. Currently, there are two CAM softwares compatible with DW Index 2 as of July 1, 2021. Millbox, for users with a 2019 release or later, and Hyperdent, for users with release 8.2.3 or later. 
Users with compatible CAM must adjust the data settings in their software to automate material use and unit production data for DW Index 2. Now that you know how to keep your milling center up and running, you may be wondering how you can get started using the software. To register for DW Index 2 software, open your web browser and go to www.dgshape.com. Once you have arrived to the home page, click on the DW Index 2 link in the top navigation bar. Next, scroll down to the bottom of the page and click on Register Now. Finally, complete each step by creating a username, a password, accepting the terms and conditions, and downloading the installation software. That brings us to the end of our webinar. Let's review a few key points from our discussion. DW Index 2 software allows remote access to your milling device. Even if you are in another building, state, or country, you will always have access to your milling center 24 hours a day, every day of the year. Attach a mountable camera to improve support for your milling device. Adding a camera expedites the level of support for your dental mill. It is sold separately and can be attached on the outside or inside of the milling device. Minimize user base errors with the error dashboard. Check this dashboard weekly to understand which actions frequently slow down production. Stay informed of completed maintenance on your milling device. Review the maintenance dashboard occasionally to be sure the maintenance operations are completed according to schedule. Use the runtime dashboard to keep your milling center up and running. Determine if your machine is a workhorse or sound asleep and send more jobs to your milling device to maximize productivity. Use job lists to digitally track your milled output. Job lists are automated recording all completed milling data for you. Take advantage of automated material and unit data tracking. If you have compatible CAM software, adjust your settings to access this feature. Register to sign up as soon as possible. DW Index 2 is a free software for all DWX 52 series and 42W users. Currently, all DWX models released prior to 2017 are not compatible with DW Index 2. Finally, check the DGShape website for installation and setup videos. These videos will be available through the DW Index product and support pages. Do you have any questions or comments? You can reach us on Facebook, LinkedIn, Twitter, and through our company website at www.dgshape.com. I can also be reached directly on LinkedIn. If you've made it this far, I bet you're excited and ready to get started using DW Index 2. On the behalf of DG Shape Corporation, I want to thank you for watching this webinar. I look forward to hearing the stories of how DW Index 2 has improved your dental business. Until next time.